Dr. Warhipster here coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial and today we are painting the fantastic new Saurus Scar Veteran on Agrodon. Yes, here he is. Absolutely beautiful model. Epic, massive, chunky. It just looks fantastic. Can't wait to paint this one. A massive thank you to Games Workshop for sending me this because I've been very, very excited for it ever since it was previewed and well, we're gonna jump in and start painting him. He has been primed in Wraithbone. The color we're gonna be using first is Seraphim Sepia. Now what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be applying this to his kind of soft belly. And we don't need to go over the whole of the model. We just need to go kind of up to the sort of first rank of scales. So we're gonna start up here on the mouth like that and we're going to bring it along that little section just there and then we're going to start applying this like this over the rest of it just like this and as mentioned we only really need to do up to there along the entirety of the model. What you will want to make sure you do is apply this over both halves. You don't want to just do one side and then come back to it because you will get a drying line going right down the middle of the model and that is not something that we want. Just like that. And then we're going to continue on to the next bit. So with that seraphim sepia all applied all the way around, as you can see. What we're now gonna do is gonna take our roughly one-to-one -one mix, of contrast medium, and flesh tear as red. And what we're gonna do is we're effectively gonna apply this over the rest of him, but we are gonna do a little bit of blending in some places with this. So we're gonna start up here on the snout. And we're gonna start applying this just like this and then what we're going to do is effectively over the top of that first rung of scales is we're going to apply the flesh terrors red in contrast medium over the top like that we're then going to wash the brush and then we're going to feather away at that area just like this to create a nice smooth transition between the colors. Like that. Now don't worry if it's 100% perfect on the first go. We are gonna be doing a little bit of shading later that's going to help with that. But for now, you just wanna approach it 
in that exact same fashion all the way along. Just like that sort of thing. Whereas when it comes to areas like the legs, you want to colour the whole thing in. So with that flesh tear is red and contrast medium mix applied, what we then do is we take Fuegan Orange and we're gonna apply this over the top of the Seraphim Sepia, the blended bits of the flesh tear is red, so that kind of first rung. Our scales. And that's it. I don't know why I'm leading in thinking it's going to be more. <laughs> so with that Fuegan orange now applied, what we're going to do is we're going to take a roughly one-to-one -one mix of contrast medium and shayish purple. And we're gonna use this to paint in our even darker scales. So once again, we're gonna start at the top here, on the top of the head, and we're just gonna start applying this, like this, over the top. Just like this. Gonna bring it down over these scales just here. I'm gonna bring it down like this. So you've got that first rung that's kind of left to its own devices now. And then we're gonna wash the brush. And then we're just gonna do a little bit of blending between the two, like that.
So with that shyish purple and contrast medium mix all applied, all the way around as you can see, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna once again, take a roughly one-to-one -one mix of contrast medium and shyish purple. I'm gonna go one step darker. So we're gonna leave this kind of rung and we're gonna go in there with the same mix sticking towards the top. Like that. And then I'm gonna wash the brush. We're then gonna lift most of that kind of wet layer off. Just like that. Let's get that really nice progression through to the really dark scales. And so with that second shyish purple and contrast medium mix applied, what we're then going to do is take some Caraberg Crimson. And we're going to apply this over the top of our kind of remaining red areas. On the arms and on the legs and on the head. So with that done, he is now officially at the right color. But instead of moving on to the next color, what we are gonna do is we're gonna add some dry brushes because, well, we've got all of these additional details in here. And if we start dry brushing once we've got all of them, it becomes a little bit more difficult. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some slanish grey and we're going to very gently dry brush this over the top of all of our dark scales. And with that slanish grey dry brush all applied, we're then gonna take some Bugman's Glow and we're gonna do the same thing on all our red areas. And then finally, over the top of all of our scales, we're gonna very, very dry, gently, add some Cadian Flesh Tone. So with that now done, the Agridon's flesh is now finished, as is all the scales, and it's looking pretty cracking. However, it's no time to sit back. What we're gonna do is move on to the rest of the details. Now the color we're gonna be using next is Black Legion. I'm gonna use this over top of all of his claws and all of the ropes. And with that Black Legion now applied, we're gonna take some Volupus Pink 
and we apply this to the inside of the mouth, to the tongue, and over the top of the teeth. Just like this. So with that now done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some pterodon turquoise and we're gonna apply this over the top of quite a few little bits of detail. So we've got this leering face. Down here. kind of face that says, ha ha, you're about to be eaten by a dinosaur. There we go. We're going to apply this over the top of these triangles. that sort of thing and we're going to apply this over the top of any of the kind of jewels like this from all the hanging tr trinkets And with that now done, we take some wild wood and we apply this over top of the saddle cloth. So with that done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take two colors, bad moon yellow and striking scorpion green. I'm going to use this over the large tail feather thing there, stuck in that little kind of bracelet thing back there. Uh, and this is different to what it is on the box art, but I really like this as a kind of unifying feather scheme for my Seraphon. So we're going to take in Bad Moon Yellow and Striking Scorpion Green. And we're going to start with Bad Moon Yellow and we're going to apply this over the top of the whole feather. Just like that. However, slightly differently to what we've done before, is we're going to take Striking Scorpion Green, and rather than kind of do the whole thing, what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of stick to specific areas. So we're going to add some Striking Scorpion Green there. We're going to add some Striking Scorpion Green just there. And do the same thing just here. I'm going to add some striking scorpion green there, like that, and like that. Then we're going to wash the brush, grab a little bit more black, bad moon yellow, I'm going to use this to create some funky transitions. Just whilst we're waiting for that tail to dry, because we are going to add one more colour to it. But what we are going to do is, whilst we're waiting, is we're going to take some thinned down Retributor armour. And we're going to use this to pretty much colour in all of our remaining details on the Agrodon itself. Now, we are ignoring the saddle for the moment. Because that's kind of part of the Scar Veteran more than anything. 
what we are going to do is pick out all of the trinkets scattered around our model. So with that done, all of our base coats are now on, on our Agrodon, and he's looking pretty fabulous. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple of shades, and the first one is going to be some fragrant orange, and we're going to use this on the tail feather. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add the fragrant orange over the top, like that. We're then going to wash the brush. And then we're going to pull that Fuegan Orange off the green and the yellow towards the tip. But we're going to leave it in there towards the base. So you're still getting a hint of it in and around the green. With that fragrant orange applied, we're then going to take Gilliman Flesh. I'm going to use this to shade all the gold. So with that now done, we're then going to take some Null Oil and use this to shade our claws. So with that null oil all applied, our Agrodon is now what I would call a war hipster battle ready, and it's looking pretty smart. However, we're going to now move on to the Scar veteran himself, and then we'll do all of the highlights to take him to that war hipster parade ready standard afterwards. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Dawnstone, and we're going to apply this over the top of the saddle. So with that Dawnstone applied, what we're then going to do is we're going to take a roughly one-to-one -one mix of Contrast Medium and Targor Raid Shade, and we're going to apply this over the top of the Flesh. With that Targor Raid shade all applied, we then take some Flesh Terrors Red. I'm going to use this to pick out all of the little ropes. So with that now done, we're going to take some Pterodon Turquoise and we're going to apply this over the top of the spear tip the face up here and this gem in the center of his necklace. So with that now done, we're then going to take some Black Legion and we're going to use this to paint in his claws. We're 
we're also going to use this to paint in these panels. So with that now done, we're then going to take some gore grunt of fur. I'm going to apply this over the top of the banner pole. So with that now done, we're going to take some Blood Angels Red. I'm going to use this on some of the feathers, but not all of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that Blood Angels Red on our brush and we're going to pick alternate feathers on the headdress. So we're going to go for this one just here. Like that. And we're going to go for this one here. Like so, we want to make sure that we don't forget to do the other sides. We will continue this around the other side. What we're also going to do is we're going to paint in this feather just here. that we get the inside. Like that. And we're going to paint in the feathers up here. Like that. And so with that now done, we're then going to once again use Bad Moon Yellow and Striking Scorpion Green on all of our remaining feathers. And so with that done, it is now time to take some thinned down Retributor armor. And we're gonna apply this over pretty much all of our remaining details. The only thing we're not gonna do is this kind of jazzy section here on the shield and on the handle of the spear. But otherwise, the rest of it is going to be thinned down Retributor armor. And so with all of that Retributor armor applied, as you can see, there is rather a lot of it. What we're going to do now is we're going to take some thinned down Castlax bronze. I'm going to use this to now paint in our last two remaining details. The fancy bit of the shield and the handle of the spear. So with that done, we've got all of our base coats on. So it's time to add some shades once again. Now we are gonna once again, I've said that twice now, use Gilliman Flesh. I'm gonna use this to shade all the gold, but we're also gonna use this to shade the Castellax Bronze as well.
So with that Gilliman flesh all applied, we're then going to take some right Gilliman flesh shade and we're going to apply this over the top of the large scales on our Scar Veteran. And with that now done, we're going to take some Caraberg Crimson. I'm going to use this to shade our red feathers. Begging your pardon, but we're also going to be using Caraberg Crimson to paint in some of these little carvings on the saddle. So what we want to do is we want to apply the Caraberg Crimson over that little panel. And the face as well. Like that. And with that Caribou Crimson applied, we're then going to take Drakenhof Nightshade and we're going to apply this over the remaining areas. like that and I'm going to use this to shade the face with that done we're then going to take some black templar and we're going to apply this over top of the spear blade And finally, we're going to take some Null Oil. I'm going to use this over the top of the stonework of the saddle. So with that done, our Scar Veteran is now what I would call a war hipster battle ready and it's looking really cool however we're not going to leave it there no we are going to take it to the next level and we're going to do this by adding some highlights now the first one we're going to add is some screaming skull i'm going to use this to pick out all of the teeth just leaving a little bit of that pink towards the base of them because there's a little line which is where the gum is. So with that now done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some thinned down Cabalite green. We're gonna use this to highlight the blade, like that sort of thing. But what we're also going to do is we're gonna use this over the top of the eyelids. So with that now done, we're then going to take some Flash Gits Yellow and we use this to colour in the eyeballs of our Agrodon. I 
And with that now done, we're then going to take a teeny tiny amount of Black Legion. I'm going to apply this as a little line going across the middle of each of the eyes. Just like that. And so with that now done, what we can do is we can take some thin down dawn stone and we can use this to highlight all of the black details. With that dawn stone all applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thin down retributor armor and we're going to use this to relayer any of our smooth open panels like these ones on the legs now we're doing this now because well this gets us one giant step closer towards finishing off the agrodon itself and then all we'll have left to do is just a few more bits on the scar veteran So we're just going to go around like this, picking out anywhere that we feel comfortable. So for example, just in here, a little bit of retributor and armor in there just to return some of the shine. And for example, around here as well. Like that sort of thing. But this is up to you. Use your discretion. And so with all of that retributor armor now applied, we're gonna take some thin down liberator gold. I'm gonna use this to highlight all of the gold. So with that done, all of the gold is now finished and rather a lot of the model is complete and it's looking fabulous. There's only a couple of things left to do. And one of those is to take some thin down cyberite green. And this is gonna be used to highlight all of our pterodon turquoisey bits, but also we're gonna add a little spot highlight to the sharpest points on our spear. So for example, just here and there just there, like this. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Black Legion, not very much of this at all, I'm going to add some little stripes on our red feathers. So we're going to start just here at the kind of top of the quill. Like that. And we're going to add another one on the other side. And then we're going to add a type of chevron. And then we're going to 
add a little diamond. on the tip. And with those little black markings done, what we're then going to do is take a little bit of Fire Dragon Bright and add this. Some little dotted highlights along the edges. Of our red parts. of the feathers. So with that Fire Dragon Bright applied, what we're now going to do is take some thinned down Rune Lord Brass and use this to highlight our Castellax Bronze areas. So with that now done, conveniently, we are now at the final stage, which is to take some thinned down pallid witch flesh. And we're gonna use this to highlight all of his skin. And so, with his base complete, our Saurus Scar Veteran, I nearly started by saying Agrodon Veteran, our Saurus Scar Veteran on Agrodon is now finished. He's an absolutely fantastic model. I really, really love this one. I have some Agrodon Lancers. I shall get them painted alongside him because, well, I feel like it absolutely is necessary, especially when we've got the Raptodons as well. So many dinosaur cavalry. Oh, it's absolutely excellent. What a time to be a Seraphon fan. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you'd like to support me further, you absolutely can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster, just like these bosses have done scrolling up on the screen before you, whose continued support helps me continue to make all the wonderful content that you enjoy. Alternatively, you could become a YouTube channel member by clicking on the join button on the channel page or just below this video like these wonderful, amazing people have done. And if you really like this video and you just want to shoot me a little thanks, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.